In this video, we're gonna show you how to install speed tiles for an easy backsplash. These speed tiles are 30 inches wide and have an adjustable height, meaning that you can go and adjust it regardless of your backsplash size. This is available in black and silver color. Let's get into it and show you how to install it. Hey everybody, today's video, I wanna show you how to use these speed adhesive tiles to make any room in your house pop. So we actually already did this here with the sink. So you can see that they include the edging with it. So you don't have to really worry about how to finish the edging. This is on adhesive. It can be removed at any time. Here we go. Let's get started. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a knife, pencil, tape measure, ruler, soap and water solution. We're going to use the solution to essentially peel back this, and then we're going to spray that. That's going to give us a little extra time to maneuver it in the space that you're doing in it. Now to get started, there are bottoms and there are tops. So this is the top, for example, and then we got a bottom right here. So bottom was essentially go here, like that. And then any other item that's got up on it goes right over top. And you can see that the grooves kind of line up and you're gonna go stacking, 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 stacking until it's all stacked up. So let's go and clean the surface first. We're gonna be just using regular alcohol to do that. This is a 50% uh, just rubbing alcohol. We're gonna wipe that whole section down and we're gonna measure out the center where the stove is and we're gonna start. All right, so step one, let's figure out the center of the oven here. So we have 31, that's 15 and a half. So 15 and a half is right over here. Essentially just place this here and we do a mark about here. And then once the mark here, you know we can just do this and then just keep going upwards. So now we know that's the center line. Now take some rubbing alcohol or degreaser. And if you're doing this, especially above stove, make sure you clean and degrease the area before you start applying the adhesive. Now place this. Mark the line with this line, and this is how you know where your center line is, right? So now, you just peel the adhesive on the back. Now, if you had a spray bottle with warm water and soap, this is the time that you add it. So that would do it like a slow release. That way, if you screw up, you can always adjust it. We are not gonna worry about that, so we're just gonna line this up flat and just press. That's it. Now we are assuming that your counter is plumb and leveled. And now, peel this. And the first piece is done. All right, so we've laid out four pieces. Now we're gonna spray this. So the first one. Essentially trying to make sure that we align this here before we settle. And then we just basically just bring it. And because there's some soap on here, we can bring it down. So just press it downwards. And because there, again, there's soap on here, it will nicely come down. All right, so you can see how smooth and seamless it is. I'm just gonna remove this before we move on to the next one. And again, remember, the soap and water behind it is just gonna evaporate on its own. So let's just uh, keep going. All right, so you can see we're almost done. The last piece is we have to go and cut this. And then we are actually gonna be doing it here as well. We did have obviously leftovers as well. So we marked out how much space we need for the top with the tape, and then we're just gonna go and cut this. Now to cut this, just use a regular X-Acto blade like this. This is a very thin metal. Just make sure you do it slowly. All right, so here it is. It's almost, almost cut. So we're just gonna use a knife just to cut the last couple of pieces here. Okay, so here's our piece. Let's peel it. Already a little bit of water on there. And now let's go and press it in. All right, here we are. Almost there. Now we're gonna focus on the bottom. All right, so we marked off how much we need to cut off of this. This is from here to the top. And uh, once that's in, we're going to go and cut this little sliver. Now we are using this edging. This is something you can pick up at any sort of a Home Depot or even Amazon. This is a uh, matte black tile edge. And what we're gonna do is we're essentially gonna do it like this, just so it bumps against this. That way this will be our guide. And when we cut it, this will essentially go inside like this, like that. And then the last piece we have to do is that. And then we'll put a little bit of black silicone on the edge just to make that nice and seamless. And then we're gonna build out the edges as well. All right, so here's essentially how it should look. See what I did over up here, right? There we go. One edge done. Now, we take this off. There's an adhesive on here that we peel, and this is a piece of foam that actually comes out. All right, and now we just press because there's an adhesive on 
the back and here we go. All right, so we're gonna be using the PL8X Fast Grab to glue this to the counter, as well as these ones on the side. And then so we're pretty much done. We did cut this little sliver here. So that's dry fit. And we got the other piece right over here. So let's just glue it all and clean up. All right, so the aluminum trim is right over here. We've already glued this section on here and you can see that we've cut in and we placed that one and it's fit perfectly. We are still gonna put a black silicone right over here just to get that seam nice and sharp. And uh, the last thing that we need to do is we need to put these edges on and they're already pre-cut. All we need to do is essentially is just do this and glue them on both sides. And here we are, the finished product. It looks absolutely beautiful. Very easy way to just upgrade your space and just create almost like a feature wall in your kitchen. Now we also have this sink and we did do a video on how to create this. This is a much more intense job just because there was a cutout here and we had to do a lot of maneuvering underneath and on the side, but the process essentially was the same as what we just did there. So if you wanna check this out, you're welcome to. In any case, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.